Hello friends, uh, welcome again and this is my new project e-library management system and uh, I have developed this project in Java, JSP and MySQL. The version for the JTK I am using is the JTK 1.8 and the Tomcat version is uh, Tomcat 7. But if you have Tomcat version 8 and Tomcat version 9, then you can also configure and run this project on the on those Tomcat server. Also, if you are using the Tom, uh, NetBeans or Eclipse ID, then you can easily configure this project on the NetBeans and Eclipse ID also. But there is a restriction that that Eclipse and the NetBeans must have the JDK 1.8 and the Tomcat server, right? So I have not tested this project in Glassfish server, so I can't say anything about the Glassfish server that it will work or not, right? So this is all about the uh, backend technology for database. I'm using the MySQL and the connecting the database with the Java JDK. I'm using the MySQL connector which you will get easily from the mysql.org website and you can configure the class path and you can start using the mysql connector for connecting the java with the mysql right for front-end development i'm using the html css and javascript some of the jquery library also I have used like uh, form validations plugins date plugins calendar plugins i'm using the jquery and uh, creating the drop down menus i'm using the jquery right so this is all about the technology stack which currently I'm using for developing this project. Right. So let's just start with the functionality go through. So the project title is e-library management system. And I have developed this project in Java, JSP and MySQL. And it's a major project which has two level of user login. That is the uh, student as well as the admin. A student has their own dashboard. Admin has their own dashboard. Right. And uh, both has different set of credentials. So if a student will log in, the above header menu will be different if admin will log in the above header menu will be different right so let's start with the functionality go through so this is the home page of the project you can see this is a simple so home page this is the about us so this is a totally static content and if you want to change the content then you can change it directly from the gsp file right this is a user login this is the 100 percent dynamic web page and uh, if you log in then uh, let me check oh sorry that is the student login right so the user id is student and password test so once a student login then this is the student dashboard where student will be able to see his account and his dashboard right so this is the my books from where he will be able to see the how many books has been assigned to him currently there is no books so that's why it's not showing here this is all books right so it's saying that uh, these three books is available in the library, right? And uh, and these are the copies, how many copies? And it's showing that there are 16 books available in the library. This is the my account from where a student will be able to update his account details. And this is the change password from where a student will be able to update and change his password. And this is the logout. So once a student will log out, the above menu will not be displayed. So you can see the above menu is different, right? So if a student login, the above menu is different. So that menu will be different for a student and admin as well, right? So let me log in with the admin also, right? So the user is admin and password test. So you can see the above menu has a lot of option, means these all options and you can see the administration panel. This is a totally control panel of the library management system admin can perform these operations right this is add new this is add library so admin can add any number of library here and he can assign any number of books into a library that right? this is addition from where he will be able to add any number of students and he will be able to create user id and password for the students from which a student will be able to log in this is the add book from here if, uh, admin will be able to add the books so this is all about the book details from where he, from where you will be able to add the details book details this is the add author so this is all about the book author means uh, he will be able to add the authors save for the publication right and this is add category from where he will be able to add the category of the book means it's a computer science it's a programming book like that and this is the add language from where uh, admin will be able to add the language like the book is available in the english like that right and this is the issue book right from here admin will be able to issue the book right he will choose the student id and after the book and date of the issue 
and the description right issue book right and once he click on the save issue he will be able to see the details right even he will be able to see that which students has returned the books and which students have not returned the book and what is the issue date right this is all about the this. if you want to uh, just like this is 1004 and if you edit it and you will be able to see the return date and if you take the return date that will be updated and you can see this is the green symbol right and you can see the report here the how many books has been issued how many books has been returned and how many books are pending to return right this is a report right this is a issue book functionality right at the time of issue you will not be able to enter the uh, return date right at the time of edit you will be able to enter the return date okay now this is a report section from where you will be able to see all of the libraries right you can see books of those libraries so you can see this is the book of libraries right currently i have added one library but if you have more than one library you can add it and after that those library will be displayed at the time of book uh, creation and uh, means book adding and that book will be associated with that library right one more thing each table has the copy csv excel pdf and print operations right if you want to PD, uh, export the pdf excel then you can do it from here right the, there is a pagination there is a search also here this is student report all of the students uh, will be displayed here right this is a book report all of the book will be displayed here right so which is available uh, that will be displayed here right and this is the auto report so each report has pagination these four buttons is active and the search right if you search it here then you will be able to search the record at runtime this is the publisher report so all of the publisher report this is the category report all of the category reports so you can see how many books are available for those category right <coughs> right this is the language report right and this is the issue book report so as i explained to you earlier also right this is the my account section of the admin from where admin will be able to update his account details and this is a change password from where admin will be able to change his password and the logout functionality once admin logout then above menu will not be displayed let me show you right the above menu is not displaying means the above menu is totally session driven and it will be changed according to the user or login if student log is login then the above menu will be different if admin is login then the above menu will be different right so this is all about the functionality which i have developed in this project e library management system and if you need more functionality just put it into the comment i will incorporate those changes and i will make this project more beta and beta according to requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest videos updates on the latest projects and technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much